Have you ever wondered why some people can naturally learn so many new things in such a short time period? Maybe you look at the students around you, they can actually ace an exam without any real study. I mean, you yourself, you study for a few hours every single day and you barely get a B. Now, how can that person study for one or two hours every single day and they always get an A plus? Today, we're talking about ultra learning and the first step is actually pre-learning. I'm gonna give you an analogy that will make you understand what I'm talking about here. Imagine you and I, we were to have an argument about God and about religion. Now, our definition of God may in fact be different. So me, myself, I believe that God actually does play a role in the universe. He's not just sitting there like, okay, I created the universe, whatever. Now you, as I've said, may be a deist, which means that you don't think that God plays a direct role in the universe. That's gonna make a problem later down the line because we both believe in God, but our definitions are different. So for example, why would you want to start coding when you don't even know what Python is? Or maybe you want to start learning calculus, but you don't even know basic algebra. And this phase is actually kind of tricky because you can be one of those guys that always pre-learns, but doesn't actually learn anything. It's a well-known concept that you've probably heard of, and that is called procrastination. You constantly read books about learning, but you never really learn anything or you just read for the sake of reading which isn't that bad but especially if you're a student it shouldn't take a lot of time the next step is to actually learn and this is where a lot of us make the mistake of thinking that quantity equals quality well let me tell you this if you've never heard of deep work this is gonna shock you by the way two hours of fully focused work is better than 10 hours of just shallow work. Let me explain these concepts. Deep work is that kind of work where you're so focused, you don't look at your phone, you don't listen to music, which means that you're fully in the flow state. And this is me right now. There are zero thoughts in my head. Now imagine this, if I were to record this video and maybe I was speaking to my mother and also my friend was here and maybe I'd get up and play the piano for a little bit, that kind of work would be tragically bad. I literally have to edit out everything in this video and the parts that I actually do speak to the camera would be terrible. Now, as I've said, focus is the number one priority, which means that you don't just toss your phone somewhere. No, 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 no. You turn your phone off. Think about this. When was the last time that you actually turned your phone off? Never? <laughs> or maybe when you were... 14 years old and you were just discovering what it's like to have a phone. But this means that you have to turn off your notifications as well. Imagine you were trying to do something and you were so focused on it, but then you get an Instagram notification. Boom. Instant loss of flow state. And the work that you're going to do after that is going to be statistically worse than if you were just to toss your phone somewhere and turn off the notifications. Uh... Well, it's classical music, bro. It doesn't count. It does not count. The next step is dedication. There is no easy way to go on about this. You're going to have to put the time in and think about this. Everything in life that is worthwhile takes time. Possibly you want to embark on a journey with playing an instrument, or maybe you want to learn another language. That's fine and all, but it's going to take time. Think about this. If everyone else had that skill, would that really be valuable? It's what separates you from the majority. It's what separates you from the crowd, that is. There's a barrier between you and the skill you want to master. Now, there are many people in this crowd that want that skill, but how many people are actually going to go through that barrier? Now, this is the thing. To get past that barrier, you have to put months, if not years, into the skill in order to perfect it, in order to master it, whatever. And if you constantly find yourself scrolling on TikTok or maybe you Google how to do anything in a short time period, then you have a problem with your mindset and you need a mindset shift, to be honest. And the last thing that I'm gonna talk about is drilling. So not in the way that you think, okay, cut this off. Imagine this, every single part of your upper body is strong as hell, but you have weak shoulders. Well, what you need to do is start training shoulders two to three times a week. This is an isolation exercise that I'm gonna talk about here. I'll give you a realistic example of mine. Well, actually I do have weak shoulders. I have to improve upon that, but that's not what this is about. I cannot read sheet music. 
for the life of me. Technically, I can, but it takes me such a long time that <laughs> I've built up this mechanism to read the sheet music once or twice, and then I'll instantly remember it, and I focus more on the sound rather than the sheet music. And that is my bottleneck. Your bottleneck may be your focus, or when learning a language, it's the vocabulary, or maybe even the grammar. I know many people struggle with English grammar here in Serbia, but that is what you need to focus on. If I had to put a concrete percentage on it all, I'd say 10% on pre-learning, 60 to 70% on the actual learning, and the rest is isolation, or as we'd say, drilling. If you have every single element that I talked about here, you're gonna master your craft. It takes a while, not just 10,000 hours, it takes a very long time to master a skill. But if you put in the work, if you're dedicated, if you're disciplined, if you always do the work, no matter what, you're gonna reach your goal. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. If you want to watch more content from a young guy like me, then click here and I'd highly appreciate it if you could subscribe to the channel. And as always, see you at the top.